When you read something, we tend to read, I'll just use this, we tend to read like this, but then how many of us will read the cat ran and then go back and read cat ran down and then we'll ran down the, okay, so we, we, what they call is we loop back, we regress. And a lot of us, when we get to the end of the line, what we do is we get to here and we go, well, now where is that other line? And our eyes are doing this. Even though it seems like it's just in a fraction of a second, that's what our eyes are doing, just trying to find the next line. Well, there are ways to, to eliminate that. And this here, this, uh, this regression, and this finding the next line accounts for 50% of your reading speed. Just right now, 50%. So how do you eliminate it? Years ago, I'm sure you guys have heard of Evelyn Wood. Evelyn Wood was trying to break the sound barrier trying to break 600 words a minute, that's about the sound barrier, and just was having a real hard time with it. She got frustrated and she was, she was sitting out on a swing. She got frustrated and threw her book into the sand. Then she reclaimed her character, so to speak, her disposition and picked it back up and then she dusted the page off and realized she had just read the page. How does that work? Well, let's try it. What I want you to do is I want you to, to open your books up, and we're going to work on a couple of drills. Now, realize when we talk about this, the first thing I'm going to do is get your hand and eye kind of going together across a page. I'm just going to have you put your finger underneath a line, run to the end of that line, go to the next one, Go to the end of that line, go to the next one. And what I want you to realize is that I am going to try to ingrain in you not the ability to read with your finger. It's, I want your hand and mind to begin to connect so that it's used to doing this. And the only way to do that is to get you to do it as fast as you can for a few minutes. Okay? So just don't try to read anything. But take the next minute or so and just begin to use your fingers and whether you use it with index or your however, it doesn't really matter, just use it as a guide and then go as fast as you can. Now here's one of the key things. When you get to the far side, come back as quickly as you can. I mean, how many of you all remember those old timey typewriters where you had to pop the thing and it went clink? Okay, well that's the kind of reaction that I want your finger to get when it gets to the far end of the page is pop it back as fast as you can. It'll begin to get your brain used to this motion. So everybody go ahead and begin just, you, just, just run your finger across the page. This is one of the key tools to getting you faster reading. Now notice I'm speaking and the reason is that I don't want you to read. In fact, stop. Everybody turn your paper upside down. This way. So that you can't read. I don't want anybody reading. All I want to do is get the hand motion down. I'll start it up again. Okay, now you should be touching lines like this. I mean, literally, just pop, 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 pop. You can't see the line. I don't want you to see it. I just want you to get your hand motion down, okay? As fast as you can, but you're going line. The one thing you want to do is it's not just like right across the same line. It's as fast as you can down the page, okay? As fast as you can down the page with some control, with some control, okay? But I'm just saying because there was just, you want to go like that. That's right, down the page. Try to go a little faster, a little faster, okay? But going down the page, okay? Keep going. Just go to back to the top. That's it. 